here is a fun fact about biotechnology. Most of you think that a biotechnologist can only work in a wet lab in research. But the truth is, a biotechnologist or for that matter any life science graduate or postgraduate can work in multiple sector which is connected to the life science industry. And this particular small detail is overlooked by many of you because your curriculum is designed in such a way which encourages research, which is all about research and the curriculum is designed keeping in mind that India needed more scientists. But that curriculum was designed 25-30 years ago. Today, India needs more than scientists. India needs better clinical research professionals. And that is why this video. Now, recently, two of my uh, students just last week have got placed in a clinical research company called Neramai and uh, here is their video. Hi, my name is Sneha Bhagat and I'm from Mumbai. I found the opening for clinical research coordinator on, uh, at Neramai's health analytics on the uh, biotechnical portal. I applied directly, got shortlisted and started preferring right up. Today I'm happy to share that I'm, uh, I'll be working as a clinical research coordinator at Neramai Health and Analytics. And that is also with the support of Biotechnica. To Biotechnica, thank you for being part of my journey. Hi, my name is Kunika Shah. I'm really excited to share how Biotechnica played a key role in helping me land my current job at Niramai Health Analytics as a clinical research coordinator. I was starting to feel lost and unsure about my next steps. That's when I came across Biotechnica's placement support. Their team guided me and shared job openings I wouldn't have found on my own. I finally got shortlisted for an interview and with their help, I cleared it. Today, I have an offer letter from Niramai Health Analytics in a role I really enjoy. Thank you so much to the entire team of Biotechnica. And in this video, like you have seen already, they have got the job as a clinical research associate. Now, since they got a job as a clinical research associate, they came to me asking, uh, what is a career ladder? How will my career grow? And how this market of clinical research will grow? So I thought, why not create a clinical research career ladder for beginners? Okay, beginners career research ladder. Okay, clinical research ladder, right? So this is that video. Now, let me start by talking about the market. So as of today, so in 2024, the clinical research market was US dollar 60.94 billion. And this is as per Fortune Business Insights. And it is projected to grow to $104 billion by 2032, which is a CAGR of 6.8%. Now, by 2030, we are expecting that the entire clinical research market will be somewhere around $125 billion. And the key drivers for this growth will be AI, bioinformatics, chronic disease prevalence, new drugs into the market thanks to AI, growth in oncology research, phase 3 trials by AI-driven research, drug discovery, and adoption of decentralized and hybrid trial models. And that means a lot of money can be made in the clinical research market. And that means a lot of companies are going to jump into the clinical research domain. Already, India has more than 3,000 registered clinical research companies, right? One of the companies is Biogel, a very good friend of mine, uh, Mrs. Divya is running it and she keeps telling me that how easy it is, how fast this is growing. So now we'll come to the Indian market. So 2024 market valuation of India right now, it in 2025, it is $1.42 billion and by 2030, it is going to grow to $10 billion. So the entire global research, global clinical research market is $125 billion by 2030. India will be at $10 billion and that means a lot of growth is yet to happen. So this market now is growing at a 8% global, uh, you know, uh, CAGR and India is actually accounting for more than 8.5% of the global clinical trials. And why is that? Because India has a diverse population. Each state of India is itself a country in itself, right? So, 
and china right now is at 29% so 29% of the clinical trials are happening in china 8% in india but now the western uh, con- countries and companies have realized that india has got a better diverse population it is easy and the regulations are easier so that is where most of the clinical trials are going to shift from us to india right now in us 25% of the clinical trials are happening and all of that is going to shift now industry experts are stressing on the acceleration of uh, regulatory timelines the ai in drug discovery and the patient recruitment ease in india which is going to boost the clinical research market and that means it is about 5000 crores uh, prip scheme which is happening uh, recently and that is catalyzing the pharma and medtech innovation and which is attracting more than 17000 crores of rnd spent by 2025 now the growth advantages here uh, for a clinical research company is huge you have large diverse population 50% lower trial cost than western countries and streamlined regulations via the ndct rules and of course strong digital workforce and infrastructure support and that means india will need a lot of clinical research associates in the future but now the question is okay this market is growing how i will grow in this growing market right so you should not get into this market unless you are someone who wants to get started immediately after their bsc and msc some people you know they have this habit of doing every degree in the market and they end up doing phd postdoc beyond postdoc so this is not for you if you are someone who wants to start their job after bsc btech or msc mtech then this job is for you so basically your job will start with clinical research coordinator what will you will be doing you will be working at a trial site mostly a hospital and you will be assisting in patient enrollment you will be collecting data and maintaining the documentation now what are what are the skills you will require you will require gcp knowledge communication basic medical terminology and the salary goes up to 5 lakhs per annum now this is the clinical research coordinator job now the moment you transition into another role there is another job which is clinical data entry operator now your job will be to collect the data and enter into the case reports forms into databases you will require computer skills computer proficiency and again the salary ranges in between 2.4 lakhs per annum goes up to 50000 that is 6 lakhs per annum but this is not where the career ladder grows the real career ladder grows where you grow side by side and get and become a regulatory affairs expert or a uh, clinical research um, director you know manager this is these are the roles which you will be p- playing so these are the entry level roles now how would you after 2 years to 5 years of experience you will become a clinical research senior clinical research associate again you will be handling a lot of other junior clinical research associates you will be doing site monitoring you'll be doing data verification a lot of clinical data entry experts will be working under you and a lot of adverse reporting event will be handled only by you and then of course there is another entry level job uh, after 2 years of experience which you can get in is clinical data manager of course there is a training for that also available at biotechnica so equivia and a lot of companies like niramai are recruiting so as a clinical data manager now you will ne- you'll need experience of 2 to 5 years okay so minimum is 2 years or otherwise you can just take the training and that certification helps you reduce the number of years you'll be working on a lot of uh, clinical tools clinical data uh, management uh, softwares such as oracle clinical medidata and you you will have an analytical approach so basically this is uh, something which wherein you need to be really good with statistics and uh, mathematics also and your salary will now start skyrocketing above 10 lakhs per annum sometimes i have seen uh, companies like tcs are offering 14 lakhs per annum also for someone who has 2 years experience in cdm that is clinical data management now the third type of job uh, after you have gained experience would be regulatory affairs executive so as a regulatory affairs executive you will be handling the drug approval submissions regulatory strategy the salary will range between 6 lakhs to 10 lakhs and you need to know cds co fda ema familiarity documentation guidelines licensing with agencies and all of that so that is regulatory affairs executive again this is all in the clinical research universe uh, either you enter as a clinical research associate or you enter as a clinical data management or you enter as a regulatory affairs and initially you will be at a junior level you learn salary in between 3.6 lakhs per annum to 6 lakhs per annum but after 2 years it starts going from 6 lakhs to 10 14 lakhs also now the best jobs which i have seen is clinical research as well as cdm now there is also a type of job which i have seen which uh, happens uh, most of the time that is called as a medical writer so you will be creating protocols 
um, clinical study reports you'll be writing, you'll be uh, involved in publications and you need a lot of hand holding with scientific writing, literature review and data interpretation. If you have all this knowledge and you have experience of two years plus, you can start commanding 8 lakhs to 14 lakhs per annum as a medical writer. Uh, my friend Divya says that a lot of students um, who are ignoring medical writing will regret later because they think that clinical research means only clinical research associate. That's not true. There are four types of jobs. Medical writer is one of the highest paying jobs and with the advent of AI, medical writing is now transforming and that is where more people are required who will actually go ahead and use AI in medical writing and you can be the one. Now, for all these um, four, we have training programs available and internships available as well as projects available. Now, what exactly I mean by that? So, we have a training program for clinical research and then regulatory affairs and then we have pharmacovigilance also available which also is a part of clinical research uh, domain. So, yeah, even that is happening. Assuming that you have done the uh, junior, now you are at the mid-level, now how would you transition to the senior level because not everybody will uh, you know transition to a senior level and that is where climbing the corporate ladder comes into picture you have to be smart you have to take leadership roles while you are still in the mid level and that is where you will get noticed by the senior level so as the company will expand they will hire you for a senior level because new clinical trials will come new sites will open and now the middle management will become senior management that is where you will become a senior clinical research associate or a lead CRA. So what you will be doing, you will be mentoring the juniors, you will be handling multiple sites, maybe 10 or 15 or you know, 50, 60 hospitals. Uh, you will be um, playing a lot of leadership and decision making roles, managerial roles. You will be having a lot of pr protocol expertise and your salary now starts going from 14 lakhs per annum to 24 lakhs per annum. This is where you are really minting a lot of money. And in some cases, when you get to the director level, actually, after this, I'll tell you, there it goes to 60 or 70 lakhs per annum. And that's, that's huge, like 5 lakhs per month salary, right? So clinical project manager will be another uh, job which you will get at the senior level. So again, this is a um, progression of the clinical data management role. So you will be doing end-to-end -end management of clinical trials. You will be taking care of the timelines, the budget, the teams. You will be uh, doing a lot of project management. You will be working on a lot of leaderships, decision-making, communication, and the salary starts at 18 lakhs per annum. It goes up to 30 lakhs per annum as a clinical project manager. After that, now there will be something which, like I said, re regulatory affairs executive you started. Now you are a regulatory affairs senior manager. What you'll be doing, you'll be designing and executing regulatory strategies for new products. And of course, uh, you will be uh, predicting the regulations which might come and seeing that if you are able to design your protocols accordingly. Regulatory foresight, that's what we call it as. Global submission strategies will be there which you will be designing. And the salary again starts at 18 lakhs per annum. It goes up to 30 lakhs per annum for a regulatory affairs senior manager. Another role which you, you can play at a senior level will be clinical operations senior manager. Again, you will be overseeing the trial operations at multiple sites. Uh, you will be doing strategic planning, budgeting, risk management. Uh, you will be mentoring a lot of people in the middle management and the salary starts at 20 lakhs per annum. It goes up to 50 lakhs per annum as a clinical operations manager. Salary is high in this because it's an operation heavy and it's a tough job. That's why. Now, the moment you have crossed 10 years of experience in clinical research, what happens next? Now, that is where you start getting at the director level. Okay, so 10 years into this, okay, and you are at the director level where you are heading a particular entire segment. Okay, you are spearheading the entire segment. You are driving the business. The number one role which you'll get is a clinical research director. Now, as a clinical research director, your salary will start at 35 lakhs per annum. It can go up to 75 lakhs per annum. And here, you will be doing strategic leadership, portfolio management, stakeholder management. You'll be meeting a lot of investors. You'll be meeting a lot of regulatory compliance officers. You need to have a very deep domain knowledge of regulatory affairs. You'll be actually designing the trials. You'll be helping the company scale and you will be helping onboard newer clients for your company. So that is where the director of clinical research comes into picture. This is one of the dream jobs which you can have. And remember, you started as MSc Biotech and now you are a director of clinical research. This was huge. Then you can also become a vice president of clinical operations or medical affairs. Now here, the salary starts at 40 lakhs per annum. It can go up to 1 crore rupees. Again, this is clinical operations. So a lot of job, uh, uh, you know, intensity is there. A lot of operational uh, heaviness is there. That's why 
get more salary comes here you will be driving organization wide clinical strategy global partners you will be talking to you will be aligning all the global you know regional partners together you will be driving the innovation you need to have a lot of visionary leadership here cross functional alignment is required policy making is something which uh, will come handy here and like i said the salary goes from 80 lakhs to 1 crore and this is huge now the next uh, type of job you can expect here is a chief scientific officer or a chief medical officer again a decade of experience in clinical research and you can become this now what happens here you will be overseeing clinical research in different um, you know geographies uh, you will be driving the medical strategy r&d strategy you will be liaising with the regulators investors you will develop a lot of leadership skills over a period of time and you will you can become this the salary now goes from 75 lakhs per annum to 1.5 crores per annum and this is again one of the most sought after jobs which you can have and it just takes 10 years imagine in 10 years you start from zero and you can be earning 1.5 crores so clinical research domain is worth investing because of the growth because there are lack of professional there is no proper course and that is where biotechnica comes into picture we are here to bridge the gap in between academia and industry you are fresh out of college you have a lot of dreams and these companies are recruiting but 10 years from today where do you want to see yourself that's all your long term goal right i would say i would like to see myself at that senior leadership role and if you want to become that then you have to start from a remember everybody who has to start from a to reach z so this is one place how can you you know jump into this what are the career booster ideas which i'll give you the number one is certification so you need certification for clinical research and of course in biotechnica we teach you on ICH GCP um, then you need a certification so on clinical data management again available at biotechnica pharmacovigilance highly sought after skill if you want to scale to a senior level medical writing again we do have a course and an internship and project on this biostatics sticks and sas even that is required now on the top of it you have to do a lot of communication training and leadership training project management training and technical writing and all of that i personally train to all the students who are enroll in biotechnica through our mock interview sessions how to answer what question during the interviews and lot more happens in biotechnica so the bottom line now is you have to start somewhere and if clinical research is something which excites you if drug um, you know regulatory affairs and compliance and all of that and you want a fixed job with a good work life balance then this is the place to get started and you can also enroll in our clinical research projects work with us and we will help you get place so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this beginners guide to clinical research career ladder helped you let me know in the comment section what kind of questions you have and don't forget to check the link in the description and the comment section which has all the details about how to get started in clinical research all the best